Hello and welcome to our new Let's Play for Total War Three Kingdoms. Today we're playing the new Ambush Battle, the Ambush of Swim Ren. This is our playable demo for Gamescom, so if you're there, you can play it for yourselves. Let's take a look at the events that led up to this ambush. China is divided. It is a rich and fertile land where harmony once ruled and may yet again. But now, the once proud capital of Luoyang lies in ruins. And all along the Great Yellow River, a terrible conflict rages. Dong Zhuo, the tyrant who once held China in his iron grip, is beset on all sides. A coalition of warlords has formed to defy his rule. The wise chancellor Cao Cao, the noble Lu Bei, and the great general Sun Tian have combined forces to thwart him at every turn. However, it is a marriage of convenience. Even now, the cunning Cao Cao looks beyond the fall of Dong Zhuo to his own future conquests. He has planted a spy in the court of his ally, Sun Jian, south of the Yangtze River, and watches for his opportunity to strike. Lady Sun, Sun Jian's noble daughter and one of his finest generals, leads her army in the east. Around her, she feels a thousand unknown eyes watching. There is a rustling in the trees and a dark secret in the mountains. The trap is set. It is quiet here, brother. Too quiet for my tastes. Something feels wrong. Shh! There! Movement in the tree line! An ambush is imminent. We must be ready. If we cross the river, we could escape through the southern gates. Or we could attempt to survive the ambush through force of arms. This hill would make a good defensive position en route, should more forces arrive. Prepare for battle, brother, and may your blade strike true! The enemy is upon us, and we don't have much time to prepare our defences. I'm turning all bar one of my units to face the charging enemy, pulling my Azure Dragons back to fire over the top. And using Sven Tren's ability to take the damage out of the charge before committing him into battle, Sven Ren is going to ride out with her cavalry and begin flanking the enemy, hitting their archers and taking out their strategist, before quickly attacking the enemy in the rear. This enemy army is mainly weak sword units, and they can hardly make a dent in my front line. Even with the advantage of surprise, they are slaughtered. With some of the enemy units dealt with, I'm going to peel off a few of my own and get them moving towards the defensible position on the other side of the river. Before long, the enemy is in full rout, so I'm sending my cavalry after them to make sure they don't come back. I don't want to hang around here longer than I must. So my army has continued along the road and begun the slow crossing of the river. Right, we are outnumbered, so our strategy is now key to surviving this. Swin Tren has a passive ability to increase the speed of units around him, so keeping him close to the army is essential. Both he and Swen Ren are stronger in battle when fighting together, due to them being siblings and close friends. 
However, if one hero were to fall, the other would go berserk in their quest for vengeance, gaining large buffs for a limited time. I want to be in position when these reinforcements engage, otherwise we will delve further into chaos. So I need to move as quickly as I can. My front line consists of mercenary swords, which I've put into the shield wall to protect them from the incoming charge. And my protectors of heaven are moving to the flanks. One is already in position and in square formation. The other is unfortunately caught out before they can get into position. My cavalry is heading out into the forest to seek cover and come in for a rear charge. The enemy is drawing in. The azure dragons are just getting into position. Hopefully they'll be able to loose their arrows in time to do some damage. Now I need to move my cavalry into position behind the enemy. That's really not good at all. There are further reinforcements coming from the other side of the river. I'm going to have to turn the Azure Dragons around to stop them. I am well and truly outnumbered here. It is clear we need to flee, so let's work on carving a path out of here. Sun Ren is going to unleash a Heartseeker at Zhong Liao. This should deal huge amounts of damage to him and make it easier to kill him in the duel. Once on foot, we'll use Flames of the Phoenix to bring him down further. With him dead, his regiments will suffer a huge morale penalty which should help us break through and escape. My cavalry have taken heavy losses from the enemy spears, but they are still going to be valuable in helping me escape, using them as a rear impact force to break the morale of the enemy. The rear attackers have hit my azure dragons and begun to flank them. There is no hope in getting them out of this battle. They are going to have to hold the enemy off for as long as they can. Swen Ren is again going to fire a heart seeker at Shu Huang, nearly killing him and then engaging with the duel for the final blow. My Azure Dragons are making a huge effort to keep the enemy pinned down. And my front line is starting to break through and rout the enemy, shoring up the way to the extraction point. The final general is dead. The morale of his army should begin to crumble without the leadership, but even so, they still far outnumber my weakened forces. So I'm making a break for the extraction point while I still can. I don't have a lot of time before the back line gives out and the rest of the attackers pursue us. So I'm going to have to put as much as I can between us and them. My Azure Dragons are in a formation where the front line is in melee and the back are still able to fire, maximizing damage output. With only a few enemy units left, I commit all of my remaining front line to kill them off. If they want to escape, they're going to have to fight for it. My front line is now free, so I'm grouping them together for their escape. Lady Swen will lead the army out. Swen Tren holding the rear, giving a speed boost to anyone escaping over the line before he too escapes. I've sacrificed my mercenary companies and Azure Dragons to ensure Swen Ren and Swen Tren escape with their lives. But that is a trade I will gladly make. Heroes play a huge role in the campaign, and although I've lost this battle, saving both characters is a big morale victory. Swen Ren and Swen Tren will be key in getting vengeance on the treacherous Cao Cao, and I will have my vengeance. To play this demo for yourself, be sure to come and see us at Gamescom. In the meantime, Check out the Steam page for more information.